So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, we will cover the best tripods under $100. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description down below, as well as the pinned comment. And also know this is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. As creators, a tripod is an essential part of our toolkit. And even with the advent of stabilized camera sensors, many times our hands alone aren't stable enough, especially for long exposures or time lapses. And the last thing you want to do is come home and realize that you've captured blurry photos. Thankfully, tripods are here to help. And just because you may not have the budget to afford a high-end brand name release, that doesn't mean you're out of luck. There are plenty of lightweight and robust entry-level tripods on the market today, but this segment is filled with many options, so choosing the best one will be quite challenging. Below, if you're on our website, you'll find a complete and detailed guide on how to assess tripods. And we've also created a list of the best tripods under $100 on today's market. Let's get to that list. Coming in at number eight, Bonphoto's B690A Travel Tripod. Bonphoto's B690A Tripod is their budget-friendly travel tripod. Released in 2017, Bonphoto offers this tripod in a single aluminum variant. When collapsed, it measures 14.5 inches with a minimum height of 20.5 inches and a maximum height of 53.5 inches with the center column extended. At only 2.6 pounds, including the ball head, it's quite lightweight but supports 17.6 pound payloads. The tripod itself uses four section legs with flipping leg locks and three locking angles, and Bonphoto includes a ball head which has separate pan and ball locks. It also has both quarter and three eighth threads, so you can install other heads if desired. Plus, it uses a two stage center column which also inverts 180 degrees for low angle macro shots. Other bonuses include a foam grip, a built-in level, a center column hook, a quick release plate, and a carrying case. Overall, Bonphoto's B690A tripod is an excellent choice as an ultra lightweight travel tripod. At 53 inches tall, it's a bit on the shorter side compared to rivals, but makes up for its lacking height with portability and a strong feature set for the price. Coming in at number 7, Newer's Carbon Fiber Tripod. Newer's 2-in-1 tripod aims to be a budget-friendly alternative to the pricier Mifoto tripods. Released in 2014, Newer offers this tripod in a single carbon fiber variant. When collapsed, it measures 19.3 inches with a minimum height of 23.2 inches and a maximum height of 66.5 inches with the center column extended. And it's moderately light at 3.4 pounds, but supports an excellent payload rating of 26.5 pounds. The tripod itself uses four section legs with twist locks and three locking angles. Newer also includes a ball head, which has two locks and a friction control. This tripod also converts into a 56 inch monopod and the center column also inverts for low angle shots. Other bonuses include a center column hook, a built in level, a quick release plate and a carrying case. Overall, Newer's 2-in-1 tripod is an excellent alternative to rivals that couples a similar feature set without the demanding price. Coming in at number 6, Tyka's Rangers Travel Tripod. Tyka's Rangers Travel Tripod aims to be a direct competitor to Newer's 2-in-1 tripod. Released in 2016, they offer this tripod in a single aluminum variant. When collapsed, it folds to 14 inches with a minimum height of 7.8 inches and a maximum height of 56 inches. The tripod is quite light at only 2.89 pounds, including the ball head, but it supports a class leading 26 and a half pound payload. The tripod itself uses four section legs with flip locks and Tyka ships this tripod with an included ball head with dedicated pan, tilt and friction controls. They also include a short tube attachment, reducing the center column's maximum height. The center column also detaches, converting the entire tripod into a 57 inch monopod and inverts 180 degrees. Combined, this tripod is ideal for low angle or macro photography. Other bonuses include a quick release plate, a foam grip, a built-in level, a center column hook, a multifunction waste bag, a two-year warranty, and a carrying case. Overall, Tyka's Rangers tripod is an excellent adventure tripod for traveling creators, and given its feature set and impressive payload, it's one of the top options around. Coming in at number 5, Zomi's Q555. Zomi's Q555 is their mid-range travel tripod of the family. Released in 2018, they offer this tripod in a single aluminum variant. 
when collapse it measures 17.5 inches with a minimum height of 22.7 inches and a maximum height of 62.5 inches with the center column fully extended. This tripod weighs only 2.9 pounds but supports payloads of 17.6 pounds. The tripod itself uses four section legs with quick flip locks and three locking angles. These legs also invert 180 degrees, reducing the folded length and adds extra portability. Zomi also includes a reversible center column that inverts for lower angle shots, and they ship this tripod with an included ball head with dedicated pan, tilt, and friction controls. And you can also remove and replace this head if desired. Other bonuses include a center column hook, a quick release plate, a built-in level, and a carrying case. Overall, Zomi's Q555 is an excellent traveling companion for on-the-go creators, and it's a high-quality tripod for backpackers looking for an ultra-lightweight and easily portable option. Coming in at number 4, KNF's Concept 62-inch DSLR tripod. The KNF Concept by Kent Faith aims to challenge Manfrotto directly. Released in 2015, they offer this tripod in a single aluminum variant. When collapsed, it measures 18.1 inches with a minimum height of 16.3 inches and a maximum height of 61.6 inches with the center column extended. At 2.97 pounds, including the ball head, it's quite lightweight but still manages 22 pound payloads. The tripod itself uses four section legs with quick release flip locks and three locking angles. It also has an inverting center column for macro shots, and Ken Faith includes a ball head with a built in level and included locks. Other bonuses include a center column hook, a foam handle, and a carrying case. Overall, Kent Faith's KNF Concept is a reliable option at an excellent price, and it's the ideal option for those who want a taller than average, budget friendly tripod with a superb load rating. Coming in at number 3, Dolika's 62 Proline Tripod. Dolika's Proline Tripod aims to be the ideal option for budget photographers. Released in 2004, they offer this tripod in two heights, both of which use aluminum constructions. When folded, the 62-inch variant measures 22.5 inches with a minimum height of 21.5 inches and a maximum height of 62 inches with the center column fully extended. And it weighs 2.5 pounds and supports an excellent payload rating of 13.2 pounds. The tripod uses four section legs with flipping locks and three locking angles. And it also has a rapid center column, which is removable and inverts 180 degrees for low angle macro shots. Dolika also includes a ball head with a quick release plate, two built-in levels, and a compass. Plus, you can install other 3 8 heads if desired. Other bonuses include retractable spiked feet, three padded foam grips, a center column hook, a five-year warranty, and a carrying case. Overall, Dolika's ProLine tripod brings professional features to a wide audience, and those capabilities match tripods three times the price. Coming in at number two, Joby's Gorillapod 5K. Joby's Gorillapod 5K is their update to the original Gorillapod line with a better design and added strength. Released in 2017, they aim this tripod at users wanting maximum flexibility with larger setups. This tripod uses Joby's flexible ball and socket leg design, allowing the tripod to bend and wrap around practically any object. The tripod itself is 15.2 inches tall and weighs only 1.6 pounds with the included ball head, yet it still supports 11 pound payloads enough for several large DSLR setups. Joby also ships this tripod with an included ball head with separate controls and a quick release plate. Overall, the Gorillapod 5K is the ideal choice for traveling pros wanting the flexibility it offers over traditional tripods, and it provides the best portability and a unique perspective that is unmatched elsewhere. Coming in at number 1, Manfrotto's Compact Action Tripod. Manfrotto's Compact Action Tripod is their entry-level option of the family. Released in 2014, it stands as their most affordable option to date. They offer this tripod in one of three colors, all of which use aluminum constructions. When collapsed, it measures 17.8 inches with a minimum height of 17.3 inches and a maximum height of 61 inches with the center column fully extended. It weighs only 2.7 pounds and supports a maximum payload of 3.3 pounds, enough for most entry-level setups. The tripod itself uses five section legs with flipping leg locks and a single locking angle. And Manfrotto ships his tripod with an intuitive pistol style head with a quick control wheel. The grip also has a dedicated mode selector which locks the ball head, converting it into a pan and tilt head, adding versatility. Plus the center column of this tripod inverts for low angle shots. Other bonuses include a quick release plate and a carrying case. 
Overall, Manfrotto's compact action tripod is the perfect option for entry-level DSLR or mirrorless setups. Manfrotto has a valued reputation in this space, and this tripod continues the tradition. It's an excellent choice as a lightweight travel tripod with best-in-class build quality and durability. If you don't need a tripod with a massive payload capacity, it's the best option in the entry-level segment and the perfect tool for your arsenal. So there you have it, my friends. There's our list of the best tripods under $100. For more information on this list and to read the full guide on choosing the right tripod in this segment of the market for you, you can look at the pinned comment in the description down below, and that will take you right to the full post. If you're already on our website, scroll down and you can read that full guide and evaluate other options as you're shopping around. I've been your host, Devon Lennox. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we missed something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>